Hey guys, <coughs> welcome back. Sorry for being away for a while, I've been busy. Lack of motivation, working on other projects and stuff, so I haven't been back for a while, but here's some more Mario. Lately on my uh, to-do list, <coughs> I'm gonna abandon the other uh, playthrough I've started working on for now, and um, focus entirely on finishing this Professor Layton up, and then getting ready for VGAD in January. It's shaping up nicely, I'm really looking Hey! No! Not nice! <clears throat> yeah. I can see why this is always one of the least favorite of fans. Gotta say. I remember it a lot fonder back when it was just back on the Game Boy version. Jeez, was that an improvement or what? I may even play the one just to show you how much better it is. <sighs> I hate Mario too. Pressure just on Luigi, but no. that coin so hopefully when you beat the level if I beat it no oh, that was close I probably would have died there but I didn't so we get onto the rocket ship and we fly up which I think is pretty cool I don't know I mean it gets me to an annoying area but you know it explodes at the end I don't remember noticing I never noticed that in the other version in the Game Boy version the original or actually not the original this is the original what am I talking about ah uh, you hurt me not nice we don't hurt Danny here Wind, Jammer, we don't hurt him. Well, that was close. I think. Oh, Nelly. Oh, oh, jeez. So, how's it going with you guys? We finished this first level already. How long has it been? Only two minutes. You know what? This is shaping up so it might be better than the last cornucopia of fail that I had for you guys last time. Last time I tried recording this, I had a huge cornucopia fail. In the Game Boy Advance version, that's full evil porcupine as a giant pal block, which is sick, but not this version. Back in the old days, things were of a more proper size. This is always my least favorite levels in the Game Boy version, anyway. It's just a pain to get around these. Not just with these things, and they have to throw in the uh, stupid little ice monk, the flurries, I believe they're called. And those are just annoying to the extreme. Oh my, I can't believe I'm actually getting through this this easily. I'm gonna die right here, aren't I? No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. I survived. How oh, we survived? <clears throat> you know, I never knew this, but these are actually whales. Like, in the, when I played it on the Game Boy, I never knew that. I was always wondering what the heck these things were. I thought they were like some kind of big things, but I never noticed their eyes before. Which is kind of weird, but, you know, whatever. Alright, this one's a pain. I always die in this one. I'm trying to get it, but it's worth it in the end if you can survive. But I did, so it's all good. Alright. You can ride on those, but it will hurt you if you touch it, so be careful. Walk with care. I love this, like, jumping. I wish they used this in more games. You, like, can duck and jump higher if you wait a couple seconds. I really like that feature. I kind of unfortunate to see that they never, they haven't used it since. Because that was one of the best moves you have in this game. Alright. There's a potion here. You can take that along with you if you want to go take the warp point. But I won't be showing those as I play through this with Mario. If there's a mushroom nearby, I'll be lucky, but there isn't, because I didn't think there was. As you can see, we shall listen to the garage door opening and... Eh? Nope. No? Are you going to lift me up? I guess not. Yeah, I like that. That's how they hurt you. They scarred my emotions. But you can ride in them, which is kind of cool. Ah! I'm not liking this! Not liking this at all. I don't really want to die and do this whole whale thing over again. Ooh, Starman. I want you. The know you want me. Oh! Alright, no, I'm not gonna reference whoever did that song. Well, I already did, but I'm not gonna do it again. <clears throat> Come on! You never work when I want you to. Look at that. Couldn't have... Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for ejecting liquid. I guess I really can't say thank you for dying like Chuck Conroy would because, well, he, they, didn't, they didn't really die. So, yeah. Okay, then. So, if that interruption. Let's continue on. 
entire marvelous voyage. And this is one of the most annoying parts of this level. You have to ride in this thing. Of course, I'm small, so if I fall, I die instead of just bounce. Oh, Starman! I want. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I want my Starman! And I don't want to be killed by porcupine, so evil. Very evil! The hills have eyes! Alright, I know. That was a weird voice crack, I have to say. Oh god. Oh no. Ah, uh, Birdo. Don't like you, Birdo. Which time is this one? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, that. Whoa, rapid fire there, Birdo! Take a chill pill. Ah! I'm doing bad at this. Really bad at this. Ah. Not to mention, she can fire fireballs because she's red. The green ones fire fireballs all the time. Those ones are a pain. They don't see those for a little while. The red ones fire both. And the pink ones fire just that. But for some reason, most of the red birds I met haven't liked firing fireballs. They just like to shoot their babies at. Game over. Game over! Back. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Hopefully, we'll speed him this time. Oh, now you throw your fireballs. Thanks for showing the viewers. Take your young. I'm beating you with your children. How does that make you feel? Oh, jeez. I'm so wrong. Yeah! I'm not going to die in the way there, but... Yeah! Now to 4-3. Fun times ahead of us. And as you can see, I got a coin in the way here, which I just screwed up. I need more lives. Please, give me lives. Darn it. Oh wait, yeah, I know what this is. This is a fun level. This is one they use one of the coolest ideas in the game. Well, there's a bird over there. But wait, why what happens if I kill nothing? Nothing happens if you kill it. So you have to ride his egg across the ocean. This is one of the coolest gimmicks they've come up in this game, I have to say. That is sick. It took me a while to figure it out, but when it did, I was like, that's awesome. And it is. It's one of the coolest ideas they had in this game. I mean, yeah. Oh jeez, thank god if you die, you don't just die if you fall, I mean, if you fall on this kind of kid Icarus, you could get a second chance of rede redemption, like that, see, it's so nice, to not have like, I like second chances, I care for some tales right now, but I'm not going to. I'll save that for when I, if I play, if I decide to do a, play, a game play of Bible games. Great for Wisdom Tree, you guys are great. So many good games under your barrel. Under your barrel. I don't know what that means. Alright, just something around here somewhere. I honestly don't remember where it is. And obviously, I'm not gonna get it. I don't know where it is. I think it might be out there. Let me see if I can go and leave and then come back in and get that thing again. Okay, I can't. Let me try over here. Oh, wait! It's on that cloud, isn't it? Maybe not. Alright, I don't care anymore. Let's just go on. I don't think I'll have any trouble with this. Honestly, I remember the boss. It wasn't too challenging. Alright, get on the right one. Because the red one, those ones go... The, the brighter, the darker red one, I mean. Not the pink one. Because the red one's going adventures. And you have to beat them on their adventure. Oh, wait a minute. At the bottom, this is what I think it is. I really hope it isn't. I'm pretty sure it isn't. I hope it isn't. Come on, please don't be it. All these ones. Oh, well. No, oh, wait a minute. Do I have to win that door? Oh, yeah, this is the one I thought it was, but it's good. Ish. Yeah, 
It's a key level. You have to bring the key down there. Oh, I love keys. Gotta love Phantos, really. Everybody's favorite enemy, I gotta say. Who doesn't love a good Phantom? You want the Phantom Phantom? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I need that key. Haha, uh -huh, you can kill things with your key too, which is kind of nice. So, because killing things is fun! <laughs> That's the message video games companies want to tell you. <laughs> right, let's go. And there is the door. I recall from the game version that there are spikes there, but I'm not too sure. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's go to the door. Hey, 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 getting all up in my grill there. And it's actually going quite a fast than I expected. I honestly don't know why that's there. I'm not sure if you can go somewhere there, and I really don't want to test that right now. But here is Fry Guy, the fourth boss. Kind of ironic that there's a fire boss in the ice stage, but you know, whatever. And you have to throw those things at him. And I realized, I should have picked up that thing. That would have been nice to have, like, you know, a little, a little backup there. But okay, I should be able to survive. Doop, dip, 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 dip. Oop, oop, boo. Or not. Oh, I'm not gonna survive. Okay, I have one extra life. Save state, because I'm not doing this again. Dip, dip, dip. I don't like being down here. Don't want to be down here. I don't do this. Going down and stuff. And this part of the skies? You guessed it. No, you might not have, but two phases of fun! <laughs> and we are about to have the second phase. He gets into a bunch of little guys, which you also have to hit. Isn't that a joyous idea? Look at this. I can get them all in one fell soup if I do it right. Look at that! That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. That's how we do this. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> That's how we do this. And let's see if I can do one level of World 5. I still remember this level that well. I always. Oh, oh, never mind. I remember this level quite well. Well, somewhat. I remember it being annoying. One of the more annoying levels. I mean, it's been a lot like World 2. I don't know why. Oh, yes! I remember this level quite well. Uh, jeez. I didn't mean to throw it like that, but I didn't do that. Oh, well. We got a lot of coins. Maybe we'll get, like, some lives when I get to the um, end of the level. Should be able to actually beat this one. I'm not too bad at it. See, that's basically the gimmick, and this is the level we have to jump on the fish, I think I mentioned. 